We've just been able to make our way inside the school. Um, we are trying to get a bit more information, particularly from the leadership of the school and from the government side as well. But what we do know now is that the parents have said they're not going to leave their children here in the school. Right now, we've just had that these uh, students, some of them have not even eaten the entire day. But just to take you uh, through uh, the scenario once again, Lillian, uh, of what exactly transpired, we are made to understand that in one of the hostels, uh, that's Mount Elgon, uh, one student, a form a two student, had woken up at 2 a.m. and had gone uh, to the bathroom cubicles to relieve herself. The information that we're getting here so far is that uh, there were three men there allegedly with knives. Uh, they attacked her and raped her and uh, she was only discovered in the morning at around 5 or 5.30. She was taken to the Nairobi Women's Hospital. What we are learning so far is that uh, the test initially, the rape kit, uh, proved negative, but then later she was recalled and said it was positive. Uh, those samples have been taken to the government chemist and we're waiting on word from that end. It has not been established yet uh, just who these attackers were and where they came from or just how they even made their way into the school. And that is something that the parents obviously are now an angry lot over because they want answers. The students uh, want answers as well. Earlier on, we had chants from them uh, demanding justice even for their very own and security even within the school. And I'll just try to get um, a few comments from some of the parents here. Um, Mami, hi. Tatuzungumzi atafadhali. Nimefika saa hii lakini sijui kitu ya yote lakini na... Dina hope to kia, to kia, when we are dressed, I will know what is going on mm -hmm. because I have just come. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have a student in form what? I have form four. Form four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you willing to leave the school and let your child uh, stay here, or you want to go home with your child? Since I have just arrived, mm -hmm. I'm waiting to hear the decision of the administration, mm -hmm. and I'll just comply and go back home mm -hmm. because you cannot carry your own child. And there are some who, whom their parents, they live very far. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. All right. We'll just try to uh, get some, a few more views. If you would speak to us, you are a parent here? Uh, yes, I'm a parent here. Uh, my daughter is in Form 4. We just learned about this incident at about 5 o'clock. We still haven't gotten uh, the actual, uh, I mean, we, we still don't know what really happened. But for us, we are very disappointed as parents because we expected at least the school administration to address us on the issue, but we have had nothing. We were told to go to class. We've gone to class. There's nobody who has come to address us. We were told to go to the, uh, to the, to the chapel, and nobody has addressed us. So we really don't know what the, the situation is. But for us as parents, we are really disappointed that despite bringing our schools to a big school like this, their security labs i think for us we are very disappointed that is all i can say as a parent yeah all right um we will be trying to get a bit more information as we go along but what we do know so far is that the ps education is already here waiting on the cs uh, dr mina mohammed to make her way here as well and as you're hearing from the parents uh, they have not uh, gotten their answers as yet and um let me just sample a few views from the students here are you what, what exactly transpired and are you comfortable now we heard you, some of you shouting you want justice, you want justice? Okay, for me right now I can't speak mm -hmm. yeah, because I don't know exactly what is happening and where we are heading to. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Do you feel safe here? Okay, for me I don't feel, I don't feel safe. No feel okay, actually no one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why we are here right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyone here in Form 2? Oh. You? Yeah. Are you from Mount Elgon Hostel? No. Mm -hmm. Waking up because it was like five, like five thirty when we were waking up. And then we had the story. We had different. At first we were hearing different stories. Mm -hmm. Then now we came to the last one story. Mm -hmm. And then for me, I'm not feeling safe. Like we have to go home with our parents. There's no way they are leaving us behind. Mm -hmm. If there are students whose parents cannot come, maybe they can.